Hey there dorks, Dorkrific here, and today I'm bringing you a Monday episode of Extreme Minecraft Makeover! Yup, you got it! Um, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to record last weekend, or last week. Um, we had a tropical storm slash hurricane roll in, so I was over at mom's and I was away from my computer so that I could not record, and yeah. So, oh no, I see what I did wrong there. Uh-oh. Wait, no I didn't. I'm, I'm, what I'm working on today is a boat, if you didn't notice. Um, I want it to be up against this dock and I want it, I think I might make it a little bit longer. I'm not really sure yet. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on somewhat today. Uh, I know this video is going to be up really, really late. Later than normal. I apologize for that. I haven't been feeling 100% here lately, and I wanted to get something up for you guys to watch because I did miss last week, and I I felt bad about that. So I definitely wanted to get some work done on this this boat because it's awesome. I am really enjoying this whole entire how everything is coming together. I can't wait to see what it's like when it's finished. So, yeah, I'm running out of wood here too, so I can't be building for much longer. So yeah, how are you guys doing? How is your week? So how did your week start off? Hopefully, it's you're having a good day. I know my day hasn't been the best, but you get that way every every so often. It's normal. It's human. And you know what? Sometimes you just have to make a choice. Do you want to lay in bed all day and do nothing? Or do you want to actually get out of bed and make someone else happy? Because I know a lot of people, a lot of you, a lot of my viewers, will send me wonderful messages about how my videos make them happy and I can't tell you how much that make how awesome that makes me feel just knowing that knowing that I can put a smile on your face or just anything like that I love hearing it so yeah I love doing this for you guys not only just for myself just because it's like a creative a creative, I guess, outlet in my life because I wouldn't say, well, I am a pretty creative person. I'm not as creative as most people that I know, but I do like being creative. Um, so yeah, Minecraft definitely helps me do something creative. And at the same time, it helps you guys as well because I can remember remember back when I didn't I wasn't on YouTube yet I was just watching I can remember watching a video if I was having a bad day because back then I was having pretty bad days it wasn't the best time of my life and I do look back on it now and realize how far I've, I've grown and how, how much I've grown and how how just crazy everything has been. It's been a roller coaster ride and I absolutely love it. I wouldn't change anything for the world. And if you guys have watched my videos for a while, I say that a lot. I do. I, I'm, I'm grateful for where I am right now. And back then, I would look on YouTube for videos just to watch and to enjoy and to, I guess, take a break from my life for the time being because YouTube back then it was entertainment it helped me to feel better it helped me to laugh which I've always believed that laughter is medicine it will help you feel better when you're feeling bad or if you're having a bad day if you can get somebody to laugh or smile that will It'll just help them feel that much better. Ouch. But yeah, that being said, 
I have a few announcements. I'm gonna find some more wood. I think I've got some over here. Today isn't gonna be the, the longest episode. Oh no, it depends on if I want to actually play for that long, but uh, here we go. We're gonna cut some wood while I announce stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, I told you about the hurricane. It was, it didn't really hit us that hard, but it did scare the bejesus out of me. Um, I can't remember what day it was, but I was in my, I live in a trailer. It's like, it's not like one of those ones with wheels. It's, it's like the ones you find in a trailer park. And it's not the sturdiest thing, but it's home for me right now. And I live right next door to my mom. And she was at work. And I woke up to wind. Like, I could hear the wind. And the wind was making the, the sides of the trailer, like, creak and, and, like, crack a little bit. So it was scaring me. Because I've never been through anything like this. And, uh... Yeah, it was, I was terrified. I, I woke up and I, I ran over to mom's. I called her because I didn't know where the key was to the door, so I had to get that. And it was pouring rain. <laughs> I can remember, I had my dog in one hand and like my laptop bag in the other on my shoulder and stuff. And it's, it'll be something that I won't forget because I was standing at the door waiting for the rain to die off for a little bit. and. Across the road, all I could see was wind and rain, and it was just, it would gust up really, really fast, and I, I thought, like, the whole awning of the trailer was going to just come flying off, because there's, like, we have, like, a deck connected to the trailer, and I, I could have sworn that that thing was just going to come, like, flying backwards. It was crazy, and thankfully it didn't, but it was definitely nerve-wracking for me. So I went over to mom's and stayed there for the night because I, I didn't want to. I, I wasn't able to sleep because of it. I was so nervous because all of the creaking and stuff. I couldn't sleep through that. So I, we, me and Rena, which is my dog, we went over to mom's and waited for her to get home and I finally got some sleep because I had, this whole thing had me so stressed out because I didn't know what to expect. I've never been in a hurricane, and the, the like the last hurricane that is that I've like known or that I remember like having a huge impact was Katrina, and even back up in Alabama, we got a lot of wind and rain, and that's that's all I knew. I knew it was going to be crazy. I knew it was going to be very windy. I just I didn't know what to expect, so I expected the worst because I, I normally do that. <laughs> Even if somebody tells me, it's oh, it's not going to be that bad, I still expect the worst. I, because, I don't know, I'm strange like that, I guess. I don't know, it, do you guys expect worse when you, when you, like, experience something like this? Do you expect, like, oh, it's going to be terrible and stuff like that? But, in the end, it, didn't, it wasn't really that bad, and I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> I had, I had gotten all excited over just a little windstorm and some rain, and I know I shouldn't be like that because that's horrible, but I was slightly disappointed. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of wanted to experience something like that because I never had, but I'm glad that I didn't because I know it would have been crazy, yeah. devastating, and I'm just really, <laughs> really glad that nobody was really hurt in this area. And I hope if you experienced the hurricane, I hope, I hope you were safe. hope everyone in your family is safe and everything. And you're my thoughts if you're not. But, um, yeah. So, hurricane. First experience. Well, it wasn't really a hurricane when it hit us, I think. I think it really actually it didn't even hit us it went more towards the south underneath where we are which is good um, so it was like a tropical storm when it went by us but um, yeah it was crazy so <laughs> that was my week well start of the week at least 
that was, I believe, Monday through Tuesday? Or Wednesday? Something around there. But yeah, it was a pretty crazy experience, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, that was then. And then, um, Guild Wars 2 launched, which it launched while I was hunkering down, and I tried to play it on my crappy laptop for just a little bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Guild, Guild Wars 2 is a lot of fun. I, um, I had a level 40-ish ranger, who I'm yeah. really enjoying. Um, we have a guild, it's called Pack, because the pack was taken. So, if you want to join the guild, feel free to send a message to Dorkrific on yeah. there. You can just add me as a friend or whatever and stuff. And I'd be happy yeah. to to add you to the guild. It's a lot of fun. We've already got a few 80s in the guild. Yeah. Which is FNG Eddie. Um, you might not know him. He is uh, RTC, Christina RTC's brother. He is level 80, so is X2 Robbie 2X, which is cool. I'm not in any any hurry to reach in level. But yeah, it's really cool that they have. They're really enjoying it. And I'm I'm really enjoying taking it slow and all that stuff and Oh, excuse me. My throat's getting all itchy. But yeah really really enjoying the game and I hope if you got the game too I hope you are enjoying it and let me know what are you playing in Guild Wars uh oh whoa lag <laughs> what are you playing in Guild Wars if you are playing I'm curious curious to find out but that being said um Vance Crafter Stevie G and I we did a live stream or Vance Posted the live stream for a charity event, Cube Tubers. I recently did a live stream for them as well. It was a lot of fun. They are raising money for Child's Play Charity, which is awesome because that is a really awesome charity. And yeah, I joined them this Saturday. Wait, was it Saturday? Yes, it was Saturday. I joined them. We played some Kazo Kazo Kaizo Caverns. <laughs> we played some more of that for the audience. And there's this one clip in there that I hope I can put up on the channel. I hope I can find it and convert it and all that stuff. But it is freaking hilarious. I laughed for a good three minutes straight. It was <laughs> it was that good. But yeah. Um let's see. Oh, I, a friend of mine, Drowning Dog, you might see him commenting on some of my videos. He is an amazing friend. We were talking, I can't remember what we were talking about, but he found a panda, a live panda cam. Ooh, that's so cool. And I thought it was the best thing ever. It is the best thing ever. It's so cute. And I've been watching it for a while now, actually. Let's try to get this done. But I will leave a link to the panda cam. In the description. The only thing I don't like about building stuff like this <clears throat> is that you have to get it even. Feel right. <laughs> so this 
this here go out go out to out one out there okay I think that's right let's go here in the center and see if we can't wait that's not the map button which one's the map oh I think it's Q whoops that's that's the throw button Z no there it is okay this side looks funky <laughs> all right let's try to fix that okay um let's get rid of all the unnecessary blocks that's a hole I keep moving that Okay, so that's the unnecessaries. This is the hole. Alright, let's start from the center. We're going out. Three. There we go. I think that's what was... Yeah. Two. Out one. to cover for this episode. I know it's on the shorter side, but I need to farm some more wood, and I know that's not very fun to watch, but I do appreciate you guys um, watching and commenting and everything that you do. You make me smile and happy when I'm feeling bad or just not feeling good at all. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. I will talk to you all next Monday, but during that time, enjoy the Kaizo Caverns mayhem that Stevie G and Vance Crafter and I get into. It is a lot of fun to record that, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But, yeah, I will talk to you all later, and always remember to keep it dorky. Bye, guys.